By that standard, Willie Nelson is the Mickey Mantle of country music. His new album called And Then I Wrote contains a whole raft of his home run hits. That makes a mighty good listening. Here's Willie Nelson. Hello, Walls. How'd things go for you today? Don't you miss her? Since she up and walked away. That's a clip of the red-headed stranger himself, Willie Nelson, at the Grand Ole Opry way back in 1965. And this is the hook. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Rausch, and I love the University of Texas so much that it's always on my mind. All right, now I need to admit something to you, dear viewer. I've been harboring a secret shame for years. You see, two of the biggest names and two of my favorites in modern Texas music, Robert Earl Keene, he of the pasture and frat party classic, The Road Goes On Forever. She'd ride down to the river and me and all her friends. The road goes on forever and the party never ends. And the incomparable Lyle Lovett are both proud graduates of that other university. You know, the one in College Station, the one that maybe doesn't want to play us in a bowl game because they're afraid they might have to change their dumb hashtag or something. But if you're like me, my fellow Longhorn, then worry not. There's no reason for your blue eyes to be crying in the rain because UT is about to show the world it's Willie. And I'm so excited, it's crazy. Oh yes, friends, the Dolph Briscoe Center for American History has added a new piece to its venerable music archives, the Willie Nelson Collection. It's full of documents and recordings and memorabilia from Willie's legendary and ongoing career. How's that for a little old-fashioned karma? Better still, a part of the collection is available to you, John Q. Non Scholar. That's right, if you're a good-hearted woman or even just half a man, you can see some of the collection up close and personal at the new exhibit on campus, Willie Nelson, Texas Icon. Okay, Briscoe Center's Aaron Purdy, tell us what's on display. What you see on display is just the tip of the iceberg. We have literally hundreds of items that Willie has generously given us. You've got everything from Native American art and memorabilia to gifts that fans gave him. And so all of these things are part of this broader collection. And then we've also added some items from our music holdings and our photography holdings to really flesh it out. One of the really fun items that we have on display is a pair of cowboy boots. And the cowboy boots were not actually worn by Willie Nelson. They belonged to Gene Autry. And they had a friendship and a kinship that was genuine. And so after Gene Autry died, his widow gave these boots to Willie and his wife Annie as as a token of her esteem. One of the things that we have on display is actually very poignant. It's a helmet that belonged to one of the volunteer firefighters who died in the West Fertilizer Explosure. Actually, he died trying to help contain that fire in the town of West. And Willie is from that part of Texas, and the volunteer firefighter's helmet that we have is from Abbott, Texas, which is where Willie was born. Now you can see the full sweep of the farm-aiding, biodieseling, championship hair braid sporting troubadour's career for yourself, but I'm legally obliged to ask, is there a scholarly benefit to this? Willie Nelson's significance as a cultural figure is so important that we think this collection will shed light in various ways on his impact. Um, you could look at it from the lens of Austin's music scene. You can see the development of his musicianship, his songwriting. The other way to look at it is there's some really important artifacts from his philanthropy and his social activism. So all of those different pieces can be understood a little bit better by reviewing the material in the collection. The display is now open, so if you happen to be passing by the north end zone of DKR Texas Memorial Stadium, say for a Thanksgiving football game, stop in and give it a look before you go back on the road again. And so what I would, what? We're out of time. Well, ain't it funny how time slips away? But even though the party's over, there's more information down here in the description where there are also three UT News stories. In our All Call Day slideshow, you can see Waller Creek like you've never seen it before. You can learn about a new play written by a Texas ex all about the beauty and brutality of the sport we call football. And speaking of sports, it is basketball season, and you can learn all about Texas men's basketball in our A to Z guide. 
We'll be off next week for the Thanksgiving holiday, but that's no reason why you shouldn't subscribe to The Hook over here on our website and down there on YouTube and check out the Texas X's and the All Call Day on all your favorite social media outlets. There they are, I just turned them all on. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and until next time, I'm Andrew Rausch. Stay hooked.